Hello everyone, I'm Hisham Abdus Salam. I am a uh, junior accounting student at Western and I work for the um, Banking Union Finance Office. Um, today I'm going to be going over how to fill out um, an expenditure request with you guys so you guys can fill those forms out as necessary and needed um, when your clubs uh, need funds for expenses or transfer funds or uh, reimbursements and stuff like that. Um, we're going to start off by going to our Western page so we can go to the team section. So when you get to this page, you're going to go to Office 365 section. Once you get to this page, from here, you can, you're going to have the screen where you're going to have access to the club budget coordinators. Um, as club leaders, you guys should already have access to that. If you don't, um, we'll hopefully get you set up um, very, very soon over here as well. So you're going to go to the club budget coordinator, go to the file section, um, and then usually you can find those on your club. So if you go to the club budget trackers, let me try this club over here. So this is the Middle East Citizen Association Club, and usually you can at the top of the Excel, Excel spreadsheet, you can find um, the link to fill out the expenditure request. So again, you're going to just hit um, or click on the expenditure request, and then it should pop up um, as the form for you. You can find this either in your Excel, um, the Excel budget tracker, or you can find it at the um, AS website in the clubs area or the AS website um, business area and what I mean by that is if we go to as.ww.edu slash clubs this is the whole website for that and if you scroll to the bottom you can find the expenditure request over here as well so this is what the expenditure re uh, request looks like there are m multiple options to start the, uh, the form with so if you click over here is going to give you cash reimbursement, catering, and all those. So cash reimbursement, this is usually if you want to reimburse a student back for, let's say, like if they brought snacks for a meeting or something like that, it's less than $75. You can choose that option. Catering order for Airmark, um, that usually happens with events or something like that. So if you are um, uh, having an order for food or something like that from Airmark, usually you're going to use this option over here. Um, for this is the whole check for performer contracts. Usually, when you have events and you have performers, um, this is something that you're gonna fill out um, to to deliver for the performer to come and perform at the event. It will be ready to pick up in the finance office usually. This one, the mail check to address. This is usually reimbursements over seventy five dollars. Say for say for example. There was a big sale, and members of the clubs bought a whole bunch of ingredients that costed over $75 and decorations and stuff like that. Usually, you're going to fill out this as a reimbursement. That's because it's over $75. It's, it's going to be a check mailed um, to whoever needs that reimbursement. Open orders, these are usually expenses within Western. So say, for example, you want five or ten posters printed from the copy services or designed by the copy services or the uh, or the publicity center is what I mean. Um, you're going to use the open order um, section to fill that out. Um, P card, you really will not have to worry about that as club members, club leaders, or clubs. This is not something that you're going to ever have to uh, deal with. Purchase order. This is usually um, if you say, for example, you want to buy ingredients at Airmark and you got the funding from before, instead of getting the money, um, there's going to be a purchase order ready for you in the finance office. So you can take that purchase order, take it to Air, take it to Fredmark, for example, and buy whatever that you need. Um, and it it cannot exceed the amount of that written on the purchase order. Um, university credit card, this is something you can request the finance office, finance office to place an order for you. So instead of reimbur handling reimbursements or getting a purchase order, say for example you want to buy something from Amazon for your club or a meeting, you can um, 
the universe the finance office will place that order using their credit card and the amount will be taken away um, from your club funds or wherever clubs um, whatever funds you got it from so say for example we're doing cash reimbursement you're going to put the full na full payment information for um, for the for the person who is getting that money their address their city their w number and that's going to be that's usually going to be in this format something like that whatever that field number is the email um try and use your western email assuming that that's the most that you're going to use that the most because um when a person gets in reimbursement they will be emailed when that reimbursement is ready for them um let's see over here so say for example that re reimbursement was for three packs of chips and five bottles of like soda you're going to put the quantity over here and you're going to just put meeting meeting food and usually you can combine them but for for the sake of this I'm going to separate it out chips so for example they were two dollars each that populates your amount over here um, at the total and if we had five cans of soda and say for example they were 150 each this is what populates over here you can't edit this one but I think to to um, account for taxes and such you can edit this one so we can say it cannot exceed fifteen dollars and that will take in maybe for example all the taxes or any other uh, thing that uh, was a part of this purchase and over here when it comes to the budget information we need um, if some things are required so most clubs you will always be an FX club and here you go FX club and you will have your club will be distinguished by an ASB number say for example the Middle Eastern Zone Association their ASB is 636 and I'm going to just go ahead and put 636 over here and that just tells me that it is uh, it is an AS club and the uh, ASB 636 will just distinguish that this is the Middle Eastern Zone Association Club and you're going to put the amount for um, whatever the total amount is that's going towards this activity or whatever um, and then the account code is required so say for example we want we are wanting meeting food we're going to look for the supplies and materials yeah, that's going to be, for example, let's say food not paid for by attendees. That can be like a, an account used if you got uh, food for a meeting and you want reimbursement for that or something. But it's pretty self-explanatory. So depending what your event is, you're going to um, select the account code from these. And then you put the total over here. So the total for this one was $15, including taxes. So when you come to this question, food and beverage items, um, if it's part over here, you're going to go ahead and say club earned funds, and that's basically, or the money is going to come out from your own fund clubs. If you select yes over here, it's going to ask you for a lot more. And selecting yes, that if you're getting money other than your cl uh, club's funds for these food, then you're going to have to specifically put... Um, where is that money coming from and all those kind of justifications so for now we're going to go with club earned funds and then for the purpose just short explanation of why what is the expense for if the as money is used just put it in the section as grant to purchase like club supplies or food for meetings or something like that um you are going to on this section you're going to fill out your organization so we're going to be the Middle Eastern Student Association and then the event name we can just say club meeting and then event date let's say if we were to we will be meeting on October 2nd okay. for the requester information so 
I'm filling out, so for example, I'm, if I'm filling out this reimbursement for another club member, their information went over here on the, t on the top, but I need to put my requ my information as the club budget coordinator in the requester information over here. So we need your name, your email, your phone number, and if you have any additional notes, you can go ahead and put that, but that will be the ideal way for um, us to contact you. Um, that's that. This you can leave for the finance office. At the end of the document over here, when it comes to routing emails, it's just two things to do. So if you are an AS club, you're going to route this to the AS assistant director for club finances. And then at the bottom over here, you're going to go ahead and put your, uh, if you want to receive notifications on this form, like if someone is approving it, not approving it, have questions, you're going to go ahead and select, select yes, and you're going to submit it. If you are an ESC club, um, Ethnic Student Center club, you're going to route this instead to the ESC assistant director uh, for club logistics, and it automatically populates the email that um, that the email that it's going to route to. It's going to give you your name and your W number, and you should be all set. If this is a reimbursement, there is one more step to do, and that's to attach um, receipts. Um, itemize receipts for um, every single thing that you're getting. In this section, if you hit attach, if this is the reimbursement, as I said, you will have to attach receipts for uh, whatever things you bought. So if you bought like uh, food from Fred Meyer, you bought some supplies from um, Office Depot or let's say Target, you're going to put each separate for each receipt, um, attach it as a JPEG or a picture. And all you have to do is just select a file and then um, put a description what that file is. So for example, that's going to be a Fred Meyer. We're going to hit attach over here. Um, after attaching something, it's going to show you attachments that you had. And after that, you're going to hit done. And yeah, after, after finishing all of your attachments, make sure that you're routing the email to the correct um, person. And then you're simply simply um, going to hit submit over here. And then after you hit submit, fill out your budget tracker. So do you see the web form over here, the expenditure request? You're going to take this. You're going to copy this number. Say, for example, this is for the Middle Eastern Student Association. I'm going to come over here at the bottom where it says the ER request. I'm going to put in the number. And I'm going to put it, hyperlink it. I'm going to attach this link over here. So after you copy that number, you're going to copy this um, website and you're going to attach a hyperlink to it. So right click, go to hyperlink and you can do this one over here. And then you're going to hit OK. So that way, say for example, we want to go back to this expenditure request. All you have to do is just click on it and it's going to take you directly to the club expenditure. After doing that, you're going to put the date you're filling that out, so, and then you're going to put the account code. Um, usually, it should match with what you have, food not paid for. After you do, you do the description, you're going to fill out the budgeted amount. For example, this time, we, we are budgeted to take out $15 from our club funds, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in. This is not going to affect your club funds. This is just saying that, oh, this is going to come out. When the when the when the finance office goes through and they actually see your um, they receive your expenditure request and they approve it, um, they're gonna take out money from your funds and then they will put the amount over here. So the amount actual and the amount budgeted with um, or most of the time will be equal. So this is what you have to fill out on this part. It's it's very very helpful when it comes. Um, for the finance office, just go through um, your form real quick, see what the expenditure is for and um, how much you're using it. So this is a video that I'm making, but there's something else I wanted to show you guys. If you guys ever get confused on how to fill out the expenditure request, there's going to be one more location to go to. So say, for example, you're going to be in this um, files tab under the club budget coordinators. You can go to the budget tools and tutorials. Hopefully this video will be uploaded over here as well, but there is um, all kind of things over here. There's, a, there's the forms cheat sheet, 
there is how to fill out the club budget tracker and then there is the PowerPoint for how to fill out the expenditure request and that usually is um is very very helpful as well so if you go through this this tells you or gives you a step by step detail on how to fill out the expenditure request thank you guys for watching and um have a great day